contrastive analysis hypothesis. We talked about contrastive analysis hypothesis, CAH, when we discussed behaviorism. We defined CAH as the theory that if a target language is similar to the primary language, then it will be easier to learn, and if there's a great deal of difference between the two, then the target language will be very difficult to learn. And there's a lot of research that supports this definition, so that's true, basically. However, opponents to CAH argue that beginning learners all follow pretty much the same order of second language acquisition. So language learners don't automatically apply everything from their L1 to their L2. So they don't, I think we all can agree, CAH uh, is not applying everything from L1 to L2. However, on the other hand, there's a lot that contrastive analysis hypothesis can predict. Even though learners go through the same developmental stages in their interlanguage, some will spend longer at certain stages than others, apparently due to interference or transference from their primary language. Others will move quickly through the stages because of the similarities between the L2, L1 and L2. As a teacher, if you have any knowledge of the mother tongue of your students, you will likely be able to see examples of interference or transference from the L1 to L2. Not every mistake traces back to the L1, but some will. And with experience, teachers will recognize this transference. We will see patterns and be able to predict issues based upon the L1 of the speaker. For example, Spanish speakers learning English will usually struggle with using no too often for negation instead of not or other forms of negation. This is due to L1 patterns. So while CAH can predict this error, it doesn't help with correcting it. That's up to the instructor. If the teacher is very familiar with the first language and the learner is old enough to understand cognitively, the teacher may want to show and explain how the L1 is influencing the L2. Unfortunately, in multi-language ESL classes, there is little chance to use the primary language for explanation. So, the teacher does the best that they can do. Some instructors ignore incorrect language that traces back to the L1, but that just aids fossilization. Pick and choose your spots for error correction, but never totally give up, even on difficult errors grounded in L1. So, we've been talking about contrastive analysis hypothesis and its ability to predict language learning errors. And just for the record, error analysis is different because it doesn't predict errors. Instead, it looks at the mistakes learners are making and it attempts to explain why they are making those mistakes. Okay? Thank you.